The Origin of Species, the most dangerous book in the world. Most university students and professors today accept Darwin's Origin of Species as an absolute fact, even though most students and professors have never even read it. I'm not surprised, it's really boring.、Hmm. Famous cartoonist Al Cap stated, There are certain books in the world which every searcher for truth must know the Bible, the Critique of Pure Reason, the Origin of Species, and Karl Marx's Capital. Actor and outspoken Christian Kirk Cameron stated, Atheism has been on the rise for years now, and the Bible of the atheists is the origin of species. But is it true?、Uh? Did Darwin actually get it right? Let's take a look at the first four chapters.、Okay. Here are the main ideas There is a wide variety of species of plants and animals. Less fit species are eliminated by the random process of natural selection. All species evolved from previous species, which evolved from a primordial life form. So, what's the proof?、Uh? In Chapter 1, Darwin points to the wide variation in domesticated species, like dogs, as evidence of how natural selection may function in nature. But domestication is not natural. Dogs are bred by human beings, they are not random creations, they are evidence of design. The variation that Darwin observed in dogs, although extensive, is limited by the dog genome. No matter how much you breed dogs, they will never grow wings and fly because there are no instructions for wings in their DNA. On his trip to the Galapagos Islands, Darwin noticed that there were many species of finches. He speculated that they all must have evolved from a common ancestor. However, there was no evidence of evolution because the common ancestor was now extinct. There was no evidence of evolution in the fossil record either because it was, as Darwin put it, incomplete. Darwin also speculated that the different size of beaks due to environmental conditions was evidence of evolution. But a recent study of the Galapagos finches discovered that the beaks had actually changed back to normal size. The varying beak size was just part of the natural variation in the finch genome. In chapters 3 and 4, Darwin states that species survive because they are the fittest to survive. If it sounds like Darwin is repeating himself, he is. Of course, they are fit to survive. That's why they survive. But the question is not why species survive, it's what or who created them. Darwin speculated that natural selection was responsible for the wide variety of species in the world today. But it was just speculation,、hmm. he had no proof. He uses the word if 416 times in The Origin of Species, 71 times in Chapter 4 alone. Darwin overestimated the power of natural selection. It cannot create new species, it can only eliminate old ones. In the remaining chapters, Darwin will continue to speculate、hmm. about the power of natural selection while attempting to answer a number of serious <sighs> objections to his theory. Here are some of those objections Where are all the transitional forms? How do new species evolve out of old? Can instinct evolve? Why are hybrids sterile?、Mm. Could organs of extreme perfection evolve?、Mm. Why is the fossil record so imperfect? Mm. Mm -hmm. What about the Cambrian explosion?、Mm. 
In the 165 years since Darwin's Origin of Species was published, not one of these objections has been properly explained. Not only that, but new discoveries in science have completely disproved Darwin's theory. Darwin didn't know anything about DNA or how genetic information is transmitted from parents to offspring. So he argued that the wide variation in domesticated animals was evidence of evolution. This is completely false. That is false. 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 DNA contains the building blueprints for every cell, organ, and tissue in your body. If new species were created through natural selection, where did the new blueprints for new structures such as wings, gills, or eyeballs come from? The glaring error in Darwin's thesis was not a secret to scientists. What? As early as 1895, neo-Darwinists argued that genetic mutation, not variation, was the causal factor in creating new species. But even this was not enough to save Darwin's theory. But that's a topic for another video. Let me know in the comments if you want more details or you just completely disagree. Darwin's strongest argument is found in chapter 14, where he shows how parts and organs of different species look similar. And he's right, they look similar. But so do wagon wheels, ferris wheels, and racing tires. Sure, you could reinvent the wheel, but if you want something to roll, it's still going to look like a wheel. Darwin's main point was that God didn't create the species. It was natural selection. And that's what made Darwin's theory so attractive to the atheists of his day. Not because his theory was logical or well proven, because it certainly wasn't. Despite Darwin's overt attack on God and biblical creation, he saw no good reason why the views given in this volume should shock the religious feelings of anyone. Psalm 14.1 The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt, they have done abominable deeds, there is no one who does good. So how does the origin of species stack up to the greatest books in history? Not very well. As Karl Popper, philosopher of science, put it, evolution is not a fact. Evolution doesn't even qualify as a theory or as a hypothesis. It is a metaphysical research program, and it is not really testable science. On the other hand, atheists love it. As Karl Marx states, communism begins where atheism begins. And it certainly did change history. Just not for the better. In the 20th century, communists were responsible for the deaths of 20 million people in the Soviet Union, 65 million people in China, and 3.5 million people in Korea and Afghanistan. Species survive because they are the fittest to survive. And with those words, future dictators were finally free to play God. And that's why Origin of Species is one of the most dangerous books in the world. <laughs> <laughs>